Hi, this is Marie. <laughs> Back again with episode 54 of all my makes for the previous month for November. So um, I have lots of crochet and knitting. I have coffee and tea corner. I have sewing. I have an ice yarn unboxing and I had Denver cruise projects. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that I have is a blanket, and it's called the Speedy Granny Blanket that I've been working on. It's by um, by Krista at the Secret Yarnery, and I'm using a size 7 hook, and this is what it looks like. So I did an unboxing in a previous video, and I'll go ahead and link it up above, and then it just shows all of the ice yarns that I've been using. And this is the selection of ice yarns that I'm using. The solid colors are done in Softly Baby. And then I am also using the Snowflake yarns from Ice Yarns. And I'll go ahead and link all of those down below also. So this is what it's looking like. I really love it. It's going pretty quickly. I am making a larger size, so it's taking a little bit longer. So this is half of it. So it's it's supposed to fit like a queen size bed is the size that I'm making. And I really love it. So I'm just kind of alternating back and forth between the Softly Baby and the Snowflake in kind of a rainbow pattern. And I really love it. All right, so the next thing that I have, and I'll go ahead and link down below um, the ice yarns that I used in case you're looking for them. The next thing that I have is I got a shipment from um, Darn Good Yarn, and they sent me this um, Alana sock yarn. It's really pretty sock yarn and I went ahead and double stranded it and I used four balls and I made this snuggle down cowl by Jules Hill so sweet violet so it's really pretty I love the way it's striped it's knit I used size 8 knitting needles and I double stranded it so I held two strands together and then I knit these were those are two balls right there so two strands um, held together to make this section oops a little left over and then um, two more strands held together to make this section so this is four balls total and I really love how it turned out it's so super cozy I think it's going to be a gift for someone. So I'll go ahead and put it on. I love these cowls. I love these um, cowls when you go out walking and it doesn't come off like a scarf. It just stays on. It's really cozy and you can put it up around your, you know, nose and mouth if you're, if it's really cold outside. So, and I love it. It turned out really cute. So hopefully someone will love that for Christmas this year. All right, so that's the Snuggle Down Cowl by Jules Hill, So Sweet Violet. Okay, so the next thing is uh, by Brazen Stitchery. Uh, I used this yarn right here, and it's called Fairy Lights. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I have a new camera that I'm working with, so I'm a little bit unsure of exactly how it's working. And I used the yarn by Brazen Stitchery in the Fairy Lights colorway. And I made these fingerless mitts and they're great. I love them. So these I didn't put a hole in for the thumb. I just made a tube. So basically what I did was I did 64 stitches on size uh, 2.75 needle and then I did a 2x2 two two rib and then I just knit and I did another 2x2 two two rib at the top and I really love how they came out. So this is a holiday colorway. I believe I got this last winter from them 
and they have two dyers, uh, Penny and Stacy, and Penny dyed this set. So it's super cute. I have a lot left over so I could make another pair or a hat or something like that. Um, but it's they're really nice. Um, they do such a good job with the striping. Let me see if I can get it to focus. I mean, their yarn is really nice. Okay. So, and this was a 75-25, 75% merino, 25% nylon. And then, oh, I did one set of decreases. So I did the, the 64 stitches. I cast on 64 stitches, did the ribbing, and I knit all the way up. I did one set of decreases, so four decreases, like spaced out on the, the double pointed needles. And then I did a ribbing at the top, just a little bit smaller for the top of my hand. So, all right, so the next thing is um, a pair of socks that I did. So um, Kirby Werby, Cherie is her name, she sent me some yarn to try out. And she's super cool. She sent me this yarn, and let me see if I have the name of it. Goodbye, Earl. Um, and then Let's Go Out to the Lake is the mini that she sent me. Oops. So it is really cool. Um, it is a Schitt's Creek uh, colorway, I believe. Uh, after Thought Heel socks. And they're super cute. So I did 64 stitches, and then this is her main colorway, this one. And then I did the toe in just some scraps of some other yarn that I have left over. I'm not sure of the, the colorway on the, the heel, but and then the toe is the one that came with it, this one. The Let's Go Out to the Lake mini. So I love them. They're so cute. Can't wait to wear them. And uh, thank you, Cherie. So if you want to see more of Cherie's yarn, she has uh, she has some more yarn coming up in the podcast, but I'll link her down below. And I'll link everyone down below. Brazen Stitchery and Darn Good Yarn and all of them. Okay, and the next one, I have a, um, a test pattern that I did for a lady uh, that I met on Instagram. And she um, she sent me a test, it's a test crochet. Her um, company or her little, her pa pattern manufacturing, pattern manufacturing company is called E. Marie Crochet. So it happens to be the same name as me. And I test knit, it's called the Bobble Marie Bag. So it's called the Bobble Marie Bag, and this is it. It's super cute. I crocheted it on a size J hook with ice yarns. I used wool melange, and I love the way it came out. It was super quick. It, it could be a gift knit. It, it's just like a drawstring bag for putting whatever you'd like in it, and you, you crochet a little tie, and then I lined mine with fabric just so I could put whatever I want inside. And it has really pretty bobbles on it. Her pattern was really easy to read and use. And I love it. It was really fun. So um, the good news is, is I was talking to her this morning and she said that she wanted to uh, give away two free patterns. So, and they are a pay for pattern. She's on Etsy, I'll link her down below. And um, she's going to do the giveaway for the two free patterns. We're going to do the drawing on December 10th. So um, if you go ahead and comment down below in the comments, you know, and that puts you into the entry for the pattern giveaway. And we'll be drawing two, um, two patterns. I'll go ahead and send your information over to her and she'll email them to you and she'll get uh, in contact with you about um, where to, to email the pattern. So it's super exciting. Next thing I have is a Karen cupcake. And so my sister sent this to me for Christmas. I think it was last year. 
she sent me this and uh, or the year before she sent me two actually and it's a little cupcake and it comes with a palm on top I didn't use this palm I used a, another bigger palm because you have to have a big palm right I mean and so it's acrylic yarn but it's really cool it stripes and I knit up this hat with it and so I cast on 96 I did a size 6 needle for the ribbing and then I did a size 7 needle for the hat and let's see I just did a basic hat I went ahead and put this palm on it because it was huge and cute and um, I decided uh, against the green palm and I put this one on instead so so I love it it's actually one of the grocery girls palms and you just tie it on you know it has like a little button and then a ribbon that you tie it on with so that you can take it off when you wash the hat so I thought that would be nice for a gift for Christmas so that's what it looks like it's really cute oops in order to get there we go I have this new camera and I'm just trying I'm not sure how to use it <laughs> all right so that's what it looks like and it's super cute I really love the way it turned out okay so the next thing that I have is a sock head hat okay so this one um, was you I used this yarn right here and I don't know how to pronounce that it's a Christmas sock yarn and I made the sock head hat it's color number um, 2501 and I used a size 2.75 millimeter um, sock needle 16 inch like circular and this is how it turned out I really love it it's so cute and then I put a big palm on top and it's super slouchy I am not sure yet if I will give this as a gift or keep it I don't know that I have a Christmas hat oops so in color 2501 okay so the next thing that I made was in Rosetta Worsted by Ice Yarns. This is it. And it's color number 64, or excuse me, 63453. And it's this is what it looks like. And I have a whole bunch of it. I'm I'm gonna make a sweater maybe with it sometime in the future. But I had made this hat. Capucine. Let's see if I can get this out. Last winter. So this is what it looks like. It's knit and it has a big palm here. I'll just put it on. So this is what it looks like. So I made this hat last winter and then I was making a pair of mitts and I was on the train and um, a lady she wanted the mitts and so she her hands were cold or some I don't really know but I gave her the mitts that I was making because I had just finished them so this was last winter so I didn't have the mitts to match it anymore and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and make those matching mitts again and um, here's what they look like so so I just pulled out some scraps of Rosetta Worsted they don't match perfectly but it kind of goes from color to color and I made I cast on 44 stitches because it's a worsted weight on uh, size 7 needles and then I did a 2x2 two two rib and then I just knit in the round and then I did a 2x2 two two rib again here and I did a thumb hole like I, uh, I did a buttonhole basically um, you bind off seven and then you come around and you add seven on the next one or six or whatever you want So this is how they turned out. It's cute. Now. I have a pair of matching mitts for my hat <laughs> Yeah But I you know she loved them. So it was fine <laughs> All right, so that's what it looked like 
And now I have my matching mitts. Okay, and so the next thing that I have is, okay, so I, I ordered some yarn from Kirby Werby. Uh, and this is her advent calendar uh, yarn. It's like an advent 24 stripe yarn. Let's see if I can get it out. It's in this little snowman bag. Let me see, I think I need to, super cute. And this is by Zigzag Stitches. All right, so this is a self-striping yarn and it is fabulous. Her yarn is so nice. So this is what it looks like. It came with two matching balls. So I have two balls and I, I wound them up and so they look slightly different, but, but they are, they are matching. They exactly match. And so I started with, um, one of the balls and I'm making some fingerless mitts and I'm using, um, let's see. I'm using Kate Celine's pattern called the Scrappy Spiral. And so these will, um, these will spiral, spiral around. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Maybe this is better. So they'll go ahead and spiral around. And it's kind of like a ribbing, almost, that kind of hugs your arm. I've made this pattern before and I really like it. <clears throat> Let me just get a, a sip of coffee. Okay, so I'm using um, this, this yarn came in the sparkle base and it's 75% super wash merino, 20% nylon, 5% stellina, and it's her 24 stripe. Okay, so it's called Shits Creek Super Shitty 2020 um, Advent. So it's really cute. I love it. I can't wait to see how they're going to turn out. They are next <laughs> to be worked on in uh, December. So I'm, I'm, I did start them a little bit early. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wait to start them, but they couldn't wait. <laughs> so, all right. So the next thing, and they also came with a little stitch marker that says you David, which is from Schitt's Creek. Okay. All right, so the next thing that I have that I've been, um, that I made is um, sewing, a sewing project. I made, um, this is a pay for pattern. It's called We Bra Bag. And I had made one of these for my boss's granddaughter, her first granddaughter, um, last year, I think. I think it was last year. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. But these are really cute bags. So it's a pay for pattern. It's by Laura Cunningham. Yes, Laura Cunningham. I'll go ahead and link that below also. And, and I made, she called me and she said, will you make another one for my second grand? Because she got some little babies and she wanted to be able to put them in the pockets and stuff like that. So this has like uh, four little pockets and it has the inside, so. And she said she wanted polka dot, red polka dot. So, <laughs> and I just did some denim and I did some little snowmen for the inside. And then I did like a Christmas print on the inside of the pockets. So, all right. So the wee bra bag, I really like this pattern. I've made it so many times before. It's super cute. I love the way it turns out. All right. And the next thing that I have is the Denver Cruise Projects. I'll go ahead and um, I'll put that at the very end and then I'll do Coffee and Tea Corner. So um, for Coffee and Tea Corner, I have two coffees that I'm liking that I got from Super Target on the pickup. This one is the Maple Bourbon. It's really delicious. And this is the 
Good and Gather brand. So that's the Super Target brand. And then I got this gingerbread from Good and Gather, which is also the Super Target brand. And I just put them in these jars to keep them fresh. I also got um, two other holiday flavors I wanted to tell you about because they I thought they were really delicious. This um, Dunkin' Donuts um, cinnamon nutmeg. Now I got this one in the little containers for my Keurig. And this one I heard about from uh, Vegan Jilly. Um, she used to have a podcast. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. But um, she's on Instagram also, and she, in her Insta story, she talked about this one, and it is delicious. It's cinnamon sugar cookie. And so I would look for that one too, if I were you. This one was, this is what I'm drinking right now, and it's really good. I got this one also at King Supers. I think that they had it at Super Target too. And then the tea that I'm drinking, I had this sample of this tea and it was so delicious. It's like a nighty night tea or whatever. It's called Beauty Sleep. And I really like the sample. So I went ahead and ordered a, the whole container, you know, to have more of it because it was so good. So this one's by the Republic of Tea, uh, Beauty Sleep. It's like a lavender, um, oh, chamomile rose tea is what it says. So it's delicious. All right, and then I got uh, a David's tea order, and this one is the lavender buttercream. This one's a loose tea that I got, and it's really delicious. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can. And then I got one other tea. This one's called sweet potato pie from David's tea, and it was delicious. So you'll have to try that. It's like a black tea um, with sweet potato pie filling kind of flavor. All right. So the next thing that I have is the ice yarn haul. So this is, um, I don't have a huge shipment. I just have this size shipment right here. So it's, you know, probably five or six um, little packages of ice. I'm going to carefully open it. I mainly um, placed another order because my mom wanted a, um, a little, let me try to remember what it's called. My mom wanted one of those, a pocket shawl. And I had only one um, package of the yarn in my in my stash that um, she had picked and so I got a second package so I could get the color that she liked and I went ahead and, and placed an order okay so I have this gray favorite this is the color number is two three eight eight nine and I'll go ahead and open it. This is just a basic workhorse yarn. That's what it looks like. It's gray and it's pretty soft. It's just a workhorse um, acrylic yarn like for making maybe a scarf or something like that. Or a hat. So this is just a gray, um, gray favorite. Oops. All right. And the next one that I got was favorite in purple. So that's the number two three seven three four. This one is soft. It's just like a standard workhorse yarn. And it's soft. Yeah. It's nice. 
It's just a standard, kind of like a, a red heart, but softer, I would say. All right. The next one is a darker gray in the same, like, so this is the lighter gray and this is the darker gray in favorite. And so this number is 58559. I'll just quickly open it up and show you what it looks like. This, this color is really beautiful. I definitely would like like a nice scarf or hat made out of this. That's nice. Favorite yarn. I love it. Oh, and this is the yarn that my mother liked. I'll go ahead and open it up. This is wool melange. And this is color number, oops, I have it upside down. Five, seven, six, four, eight. Wool melange. Let me see if I can show it to you. That's what it looks like. So I love the way the colors Go from the dark blue to the lighter blue, the lighter turquoise. It's so pretty. So I'm going to make the pocket shawl with this. I had one container of this and I needed a second. Okay, and then I have two more yarns. Oh, I remember this reminded me of what I was going to make with this. I saw this super cool cowl. That is like, it was like a granny, but cowl, um, and it, it had hot pink in it and I wanted to make it. That is what I got the rest of this yarn for. When I saw this color, I, it reminded me. Okay. So this is going to be part of the cowl. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to love it. It's so cool. So, um, so this is ice yarns. This one is softly baby. I couldn't find this color in the favorite. But this one, Softly Baby, is so soft and beautiful. And those are the other colors, the two grays, the purple, this, are all going to go into this cowl. This, it's a big, oh my gosh, it's this big, massive kind of cowl that goes around your neck and maybe over your head. And it has like a hot pink in it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I can't wait for you guys to see it. So you'll have to check back with me on the next video. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you want to see it. But Softly Baby, and that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that hot pink is everything. Okay, and so the color number on that is 42377, and I'll link this below. Oops, let me see, I think I have to put it. There it is. I'll go ahead and link that below. And then I have one more. This one is 67795, and this one, of course, was for that big cowl shawl thing also. This one is also favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, all right, so yes, definitely come back if you want to see what I'm making with that and um, my mom's pocket shawl. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, Denver Cruise Projects right after this, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.